Hello and welcome to this introduction to the sustainability tool. In this video, we will look at how to set up a supplier account, how to register and report your sustainability data, and the kinds of information that you will be asked to provide. By the end of this video, you will get a better understanding of how to access and navigate the sustainability tool. This system was designed to collect and manage sustainability data from the supply chain. Each supplier company will be given an account in the system to report data for the activities undertaken for MCOR UK. For you to access the system, please make sure to first provide the following information to Action Sustainability. 1. Reporting method. There are two options here. You can either submit one single report for all the activities you do for MCOR UK, or alternatively, you can submit a report per MCOR contract you work on. This means that the number of reports that you will need to submit will depend on the number of contracts you work on. Two, provide the list of MCOR contracts you work for. And finally, provide the email address of the person who will report and approve data on behalf of your organization. Based on this information, Action Sustainability will set up an account for your company. As a designated reporter, you can self-register by going on the Sustainability Tool website and selecting the option Create an Account. Please fill out the following fields, which include your name, your last name, your email, and a password. This will give you access to your company's account. To start reporting, please click on the reporting package level on the left-hand side of the screen, which contains the word reporting. Then select the reporting package menu at the top of the screen and click report due. The system will display a digital form that shows the period you're reporting for at the top. In this example, you're providing data for September 2022. Bear in mind that the reporting deadline is always two weeks after the end of the period. In this case, 14th of October. There are six tabs in total which correspond to six sustainability areas, carbon, employment, health and safety, other social value and waste. You are required to log in the system and submit a report every month. However, not all tabs will be activated, meaning that you only need to fill out some tabs. For instance, health and safety and waste are required every month. On the other hand, carbon is required every quarter and therefore this tab will only be activated at the end of each quarter. Every other tab is required once a year and will be activated in December. We will now review some of the metrics that are included under each tab and explain some of the key features of the system. When it comes to carbon, we would like you to provide information about travel and logistics in company-owned vehicles. Specifically, the number of miles traveled for the activities that you do for MCOR UK. You can select the type of vehicle that applies to you and input the number of miles, and you can also add a comment next to each metric if needed. Some metrics have an information icon next to them, which displays a more detailed description of the metric. There is also a red toggle that indicates whether a metric is mandatory or not. You won't be able to submit a report unless you complete all mandatory metrics. However, if some of these fields are not applicable to you, please click NA and the system will gray out that field. You can repeat this process for any metric that is not applicable to you. Moving on, the second section focuses on the use of fossil fuels for your plant and equipment. You can select the type of fuel that you have consumed and add the amount next to each. For example, 400 liters of diesel or 1,000 kilowatt hours of natural gas. 
Finally, the last section focuses on your electricity consumption for the activities you do for MCOR UK only. You can input the number of kilowatt hours here and tick NA for any metric that might not be applicable to you. An example. As explained before, the employment section is only due once a year and will be activated in December for you to input information about diversity and inclusion. For example, number of disabled employees, number of female employees, number of employees being paid above the real living wage, etc. As you can see here, this tab is not active yet and therefore I can't input any data. I simply need to tick mark section as complete and move on. Health and safety asks for the number of reader incidents this month. You can input the number of incidents and possibly add an explanatory comment. Mark section as complete and move on to the next one. The other tab refers to financial information about the annual turnover of your business and with MCOR UK. As indicated before, this will be activated in December, so for the time being, you can mark section as complete and move on to the next section. The social value tab asks for the number of apprentices employed in this period. This is another tab to be activated in December, so we will tick mark section as complete and move on to the last tab, which is waste. A reminder that waste is due every single month. This section asks for information about the amount of waste produced and its destination. For example, how much waste has been recycled, how much waste has been sent for anaerobic digestion or for energy recovery facilities. You can input the amount in tones and as usual, add a comment if need be. Don't forget to tick NA for those metrics that are not applicable to your organization and mark section as complete. The last step is to click submit report and insert a final comment. That is the end of the reporting process. All data submitted in the sustainability tool will need to be approved by the same supplier. This gives you the opportunity to sense check if any errors have been made and correct them accordingly. The system will display the list of historic reports. Select the one you'd like to review, click on the setting icon and select view. You'll be able to see every single field and the reporting information. If data is correct, please click Approve Report and insert a comment. To recap, in this video, we have explained how to access your company account in the sustainability tool. We've also explained how to submit data the kinds of information that you need to provide and the reporting frequency for each sustainability area. Thanks for watching.